I had to I had to make this video because these kids are bugging. You know what I'm saying? They are bugging. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my Eforero. So if you guys are interested, just stay. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Life has a days with LQ. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my Eforero. So today I'm going to be using kale. I don't know if any of you use kale or use spinach depending on whatever you want. But I love kale because it's very crunchy. I don't like my vegetables too soft. So I'm going to be using fresh kale. And I'm also going to be using my already made sauce. I usually buy like box, boxes of tomatoes, peppers. And I wash and blend it. So when I blend it, I cook it and then put them in the freezer. So when I already I have my... Um, pepper blended um, I took it out from the freezer so I use tomato I use um, red bell pepper I use urbanaro pepper atarudo I use onions so I blend everything together it was already pre-cooked so I'm just gonna bring it bring it out of the freezer and then fry them hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and also comment as well Thank you so much and God bless. Bye. So now this is my already made pepper that I already blended and cooked. I usually do that and put that in the freezer. So now I'm going to heat my oil. So this is a mixture of red oil and vegetable oil. I don't like a lot of red oil. so. I usually mix it together to just get a light um, color I don't want it too red so now I'm gonna pour the already cooked um, pepper so this actually saves time because I don't have to cook the pepper for a long time so because it's already pre-cooked so I'm just gonna cook it for a few minutes before I add my other stuff into it all right stay tuned <laughs> So now I'm going to start adding stuff to it. So now what I'm going to add to it, it's uh, tilapia filet. I usually add it to my stew or my vegetable because I just like the crumbs, to like the broken crumbs. I don't want like bones, fish bones, so I usually use that. So now I'm just going to put that in and also let it cook for a while. You can get this uh, fish in Walmart or Giant or any of your grocery store. You can get one of these. So when I cook my traditional soup, I only use salt and no seasoning. I don't use ginger or whatever. I just want to have it make it plain. All right, so this is my pre-washed crab legs and also my vegetables that I'm going to be using. So I'm now going to be adding the crabs to it. It's already washed, cleaned, and this is also the meat that I'm going to be using. So I have a lot of different meat, oxtail, I have a uh, bomo, I have bokoto. So I'm going to be adding orishirishi to it. So now I am going to be dipping my crab legs into it and let it cook because I have not cooked it yet. So I'm going to be putting that and let it cook so that the, the stuff, all the good stuff can go inside of the crab legs. So when that's done, I am going to be now let it cook for a while and then I'm going to be adding my fresh kale vegetables. I'm using kale because I like my vegetables crunchy. I don't like spinach because it's too soft. So I'm going to be using kale. So I'm going to be adding that. So once that's added, I'm going to be covering it for a few minutes also to cook. You don't want to overcook because, I mean, it depends on what you want. If you want your vegetables to be very soft. You can cook it for a longer time but I don't like mine to be soft so I cook it for a 
few minutes. So in this video, I already added my meat, my pomo, my bokoto, my oxtail. We Nigerians, we love to mix meat. So you see fish and chicken together, whatever. We love it and we love the taste. But other countries, I don't think they do that. But anyway, so let me know in the comments section what you're going to eat with this. For me, I like to eat it with rice. I like to eat it with uh, swallow, anything. I just like, sometimes I just take it and just eat it like that. Instead of eating salad, I just eat that. So let so let me know in the comment section what you would eat this with. Do you like to eat it with rice, with plantain, with eba, fufu, inyo, semo, oat, whatever you like to eat it with. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also comment, share as well. Thank you so much for all your support and God bless. Bye bye.